There's hundreds of camps in this bigger Standing Rock encampment that's called the Ochetisiko encamp. It got up to around 20,000 people, but a lot of the people that are here and have maintained camps here, there's High Star Camp, there's Wild Oglala's Camp. So this is a big, massive mobilization. There's a lot of people here, and they, and they want to stop a pipeline. Went from just a few of us in little small groups, going out and shutting down the pipeline wherever we could, you know, like multiple sites a day, everything, we were just on it. Black State Killers! Black State Killers! My folks said if you really gonna fight the system, they will put the bottle down and get to fighting with us. And I believe in every one of them the same, that if we really got to fighting, every one of them would bang with us. So I pray they see who they really are, though. Beautiful out here gripping on a fully auto. Full bottle, never sell out to the fucking system. Stand up right now, I pray you coming with us. It's time now. It's time um, to go home. He's a politician. That's what it is. Does that make people leave? Obviously not. There's been a group ever since we got here that wanted some of us out of here. But we're still here, you know, we, we didn't want to go. We weren't going to go nowhere because we know nothing was going to happen if we left. <laughs> The climax of, of everything that I witnessed when I was here was when the police took the frontline camp. People sacrificed vehicles that day to blockade. What does that mean, sacrificed vehicles? Lit up. Were it not for people who had been training for these sorts of nonviolent civil disobedience confrontational situations, that pipe had been built by now.